to stock up at Strax. Now in Northwest Indiana, we're proud to introduce Agape, a futuristic transportation service owned and operated by Emanuel Smith. Emanuel Smith has more than 20 years of experience in the transportation business. So if you need a ride to get to the airport or any other points of interest, call Agape at 219-588-8548. Once again, that's Agape at 219-588-8548. Agape will provide you with a prompt, convenient, and courteous service. Call Agape at 219-588-8548. Hot talk. Hot news stuff. Listen to the number one midday program in Northwest Indiana. Tune in to the afternoon news desk with Jeffrey Smith, Monday through Friday, 12 to 2 p.m. Right here on WLTH AM 1370. Tune in every Saturday from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight as we give you the best of blues, the best way we know how. And of course, that's to play it for you. The Brothers of the Blues Show. I'm Dr. J, the Prime Minister of Blues. Northern Illinois University invites you to take a virtual tour at niu.edu. All right, folks, we are back here on WLTH 1370 AM Issues and Answers. And uh, 2020, as much as any year in modern history, it is uh, basically known for its deaths. It's, it's deaths that have... Death and disruption. Yeah, yeah, death and disruption. And pretty much from the start, we should have known it was going to be a bizarre year in terms of, you know, public deaths. Because, you know, on January 1st, we lost David Stern, who was the NBA commissioner for 100 years. But he was 78, you know. It was really the death of Kobe Bryant in January that I think was the first indication that 2020 was going to be an insane year. Mm. I remember waking up that Sunday morning and seeing, you know, oh, Kobe uh, was in a plane crash. I, they, yeah. I, I, I think they said, oh, well, you know, he might have been in a plane crash or something like that. And there, there was a lot of you know, of conflicting information for a while mm -hmm. and and they thought oh my god it's kobe and, and like three or four of his kids and i was like oh my god uh, that can't be the case and unfortunately it, it was the case that he died his daughter died and i believe it was six other people who died in this right. in this in this helicopter crash he was only 41 years old one of the greatest basketball players of all time you know but m more than anything kobe was a a a renaissance man you know, he had just won an Oscar a few years ago. He was producing movies. Mm -hmm. And he was always somebody, even though he came into the NBA as, at 17 years old, the youngest player in history at that time, because he grew up in, in such a educated and privileged family, he was years beyond guys who had gone to college for three and four years. Right. You know, he was an intellectual. He was a guy they said could talk to you about virtually anything. He was the one guy who didn't need college. <laughs> yeah. Of of all these these great basketball players that you hear about come out of college or whatever whatever. And so it was a real shock to everyone's system that a young man and not just a young man, his daughter and, and I believe it was two or three other girls on the plane on the helicopter with them who also lost their lives. It was his daughter and some of their teammates and their parents that were going to a basketball tournament. You know, such a tragic and shocking story. 2020 ain't been right ever since that moment. Mm -hmm. Really. Uh, we lost uh, Bill Withers in January, who was a, a great, great, one of the great singer-songwriters in the American canon. Uh, I was always a big uh, fan because, you know, my father had some of his records and 
Bill Withers. Lean on me is one of those songs that's universal. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We lost uh, Kenny Rogers. I didn't even know that. Kenny Rogers died this year, one of the most famous country singers of all time. And it really was a pop star because I know who he was. And I don't even follow country. He was somebody who, who was very famous. Little Richard. Did you know Little Richard died this year? No, I didn't. I didn't either. I, 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 Maybe I covered it on here. I, I, I don't remember covering it here on this channel. And if I didn't, I am very sorry. Because Little Richard is one of the most important musicians of the 20th century. I mean, I'm sure you did. But it probably, it's, it's another one of those stories that got swallowed up. Right. And the coronavirus, you know, the corona, he, not that he had coronavirus. I don't, I don't think he had coronavirus. But, no. Uh, but once coronavirus hit, because he, he died in, in May, on May 9th, on May 9th, we were deep in it, yeah. deep in corona. Um, Betty Wright, one of our great soul singers, clean up woman, uh, you know, uh, I want to say my first time, what is this? Uh, uh, song about losing your virginity that's very, oh, very yeah. popular. Yeah, uh, tonight's the night. night. I think tonight it's the night. night. Yes, tonight is the night. You ever heard? I'm sure you have her live version of that song. Oh, that's she the, talks about uh, her mom. Right? <laughs> I think that's the one that gets played on uh, yeah. the radio more than yeah. It so that's the one I always hear on on the oldie station whenever yeah. I be in the car with my parents. You know, that that's the when she she's talking to the audience about it. <laughs> Joe Schumacher, the the director passed away john lewis right i definitely mm. covered that on here john lewis the great civil rights leader uh passed away uh in uh june or early july uh, uh, yeah and uh so that's definitely a, a very important death one of martin Luther king's right hand man one of the great civil rights leaders of the past 60 years and he passed away a representative from the state of Georgia, right? For many, many years. Of course. Of, of, oh, go ahead. You know what I just thought about was that while there were a lot of famous people that passed away this year, mm -hmm. I don't think any of them passed away from the coronavirus. Uh, let me. Well, other than the only well, the only well, significant person that I know of. Well, we're getting. And, I, and I'm using significant rather than famous. Yeah, was uh, Kane, Herman Kane. Yeah, I was. That was the next. Death I was just about yeah. to talk about Herman Kane. Yeah. Yeah. So Herman Kane did die from coronavirus, even though he was a coronavirus denier. Uh, he denied it to the very end, and mm. even after death, his Twitter account kept popping out, mm. pumping out anti-coronavirus <laughs> propaganda. Another one of the most shocking deaths, probably in recent years, Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. The Black Panther died. Like, this messed me up even in the middle of Corona in August. He died in, in late August. I had to watch the special about it. I watched Black Panther again. Such a talented young man. And again, not a, not a Corona death. Nope, nope. He had a colon cancer. Yeah. Uh, of course, we talked about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Gail Sayers, the Kansas Comet, mm -hmm. passed away. Uh, one of the greatest running backs of all time, played for our Bears. Bob Gibson, one of the great uh, pitchers great pitcher, of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the first, I think he might have been the first black Cy Young winner in, in baseball. I definitely know we paid tribute to Eddie Van Halen on here because I remember mm -hmm. we played Beat It by Michael Jackson. Yep. We played Beat It by Michael Jackson to pay tribute to him. Great, great guitar player. Other than Jimi Hendrix, it's basically Jimi Hendrix, Eddie Van Halen, all the rock guitar guys, all want to be those two guys. Yeah. Rest in peace to him. Alex Trebek. Which hit me because I love Jeopardy. Right. And have they have they uh replaced him yet? Nope, not yet. People want it to be LeVar Burton. I've heard that I've read that. And there's like a, a petition. I've read that. There's a petition going around to replace him with LeVar Burton. Yeah. Uh we, we covered definitely covered Diego Maradona on here because he was such a political voice, not just a, a soccer player. Right. But I remember the, I remember when you covered it too. Yeah, a few it, I think it was a few weeks ago. Right. And uh, 
two deaths, the last two deaths, coronavirus. Uh, we just talked about uh, Tiny Lister, uh, who was the, the actor. Well, have they actually said that his was corona related? Well, that's what he said. Well, that's what all the people around him have said, that he had coronavirus and he, he started showing symptoms again. Okay. So, and Charlie Pride, the first famous black country, country singer. Yeah. yeah, he just died last week of right. corona. And a lot of people are mad because he was he just performed at the American Country Awards. Oh wow! And and a lot of the country singers were saying, "Well, why did you have him out there?" Because it appeared that he might have caught coronavirus at the Country Awards. Oh. And uh, uh, well, you know, those are the famous people. But here in Northwest Indiana, we lost some prominent people. Obviously, uh, Mary Morris Leonard just died not too long ago. A long time fixture in East Chicago politics. Mm -hmm. um, so many generations grew up with her. Ben Watkins, the right. young man who was on right. a Master Chef Juniors from right here in Gary. He died of cancer. Bill Pelkey, who was uh, Ruth Pelkey's uh, grandson. Uh, Ruth Pelkey was actually murdered by Paula Cooper and a few of her girlfriends when right. she was a student at Lou Wallace. Right. And she got the death penalty. And the Pope actually stepped in the Pope Pope, not like the Pope of, you know, Indianapolis or something. There is one, but the actual Pope in the Vatican stepped in and said, you cannot execute a 15 year old. You can't sentence a 15 year old to death America. And so many people around the world got together, including Bill Pelkey himself, this man became an anti-death penalty activist. Like that's a level of spirituality that I don't know if I've, I've accomplished in my life. And, and so the fact that this man spent the entirety, the second half of his life advocating for, uh, advocating for an eradication to the death penalty in mm -hmm. spite of what happened to his grandmother is a whole nother level of, of forgiveness and, and spirituality. And of course, you know, uh, Gordon Keith, you know, known worldwide as the man who discovered Michael Jackson in the Jackson five, mm -hmm. a member of my family. Yeah. I was just going to say he's rel relatively right. Nervous. Remember my family, a man who was a part of our organization, United urban network. This is a man who, uh, when he passed away, I put out the video of, uh, our YouTube video from our event, uh, Christmas for the Children, a tribute to Michael Jackson. And this guy, he was always there at our events. And these kids were so happy to have him spend time with them and, and tell them that they could be the next Michael Jackson or the next Janet Jackson or the next great singer because, you know, Michael Jackson looms large over the city of Gary. I'm looking at a picture of him right now, you know, here in this radio station is looking over me. It's literally looking over my shoulder. Michael Jackson is literally looking at me right now. And Gordon Keith being the man who helped bring him to the world, there were always media people here coming to see him and, and so many different events and, and, and things. But he always stayed here in the city of Gary, always gave back to the city of Gary, always was willing to give his time to children, to young people, was a man of faith. Uh, a man who who believed in in his heart in the city of Gary, Indiana, and you know, rest in peace to him. So I'm going to give you the the last word, Rev. We got to get out of here in the yeah. next four minutes. So what what any final words for the year 2020? Well, folks, in seven days we celebrate the first advent of of Christ, and I know. You may not be able to celebrate it the way you're accustomed to, the way you've taken for granted, perhaps. On the other hand, there are new ways to celebrate that you wouldn't have even thought of a year ago. So rather than focusing on what you can't do, let's focus on what we can do. Focus on the new ways to reach out to people and take advantage of them. Focus on the fact that, okay, Christmas isn't really about us having a big party to, to feel good about us and stuff. It really is about realizing that it isn't just about us. 
that life isn't just about me and my self-satisfaction. It's about me loving my neighbor. And that God showed us what that means. Loving your neighbor doesn't just mean doing what's convenient. It means doing what's good for them. In his case, dying for us. But not only that, as you go forward into the new year, set goals. Set goals that you can reach and strive for them. Um, and 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 be be positive that you can make a difference. Don't give up on that. Look, uh, we've seen we saw a major election here locally. We saw a major election nationally. You know, I can remember back in 2016, I believe it was, when it was what supposedly like 11 percent of the eligible voters came out and voted in 2016. And now we look at what happened uh, here in the last mayoral election. We look at what happened nationally. Folks, you can. You can you can participate. You can make your voices heard. You can be part of the engine that drives better in our community. Don't give that up. Right. Uh, you got the last word there, and uh, 